Hi guys, welcome back to toughreps.com. My name is James Carwell and today I really wanted to just take a couple of minutes to go through one of our best selling products and that is our dual ply elbow and dual ply knee sleeves. Now just to give you a bit of information on the product, uh, the dual ply sleeves do differ ever so slightly from the neoprene. They're made from kind of a woven, highly stretchy material fabric that allows an absolutely fantastic amount of compression onto the joint. These are called dual plies because the material is in fact, as the name, two plies of material sewn together to create the sleeve for the elbow and the knee. Both the knee and the elbow are around four to five millimeters thick uh, and that's as they come out of the packet. Once they're on to the, to the arm or the knee, the material obviously thins down a little bit. The elbow sleeve itself is nine inches long. The knee sleeve ever so slightly longer at 12 inches. It also has a rubber grip band in the top. Hopefully you can see that all right on the camera. Uh, when you pull the sleeve up over your knee and unfold it, the rubber grip band just adds a little bit of kind of, um, I guess, grip to, to the sleeve and can help stop it falling down past your knee, especially if you're doing like high rep ranges or if you're planning to leave this sleeve on for a long part of your session, which is one of the benefits of this over the neoprene. You can leave it on for a long time without it feeling uncomfortable. Compared to some other dual ply sleeves on the market to, to other companies, these are ever so slightly softer. Uh, and that is by design. We discussed this quite heavily with our kind of pro bodybuilders that compete in IFBB federations, uh, the PCA federations, that kind of stuff. And the guys were, were, were really clear in the fact that bodybuilding is about being able to con connect with the muscle on, on the exercise that you're doing. Whereas a lot of our history from Strongman, it's just about the, the most weight you can physically lift in the competition. Hence why the neoprene stuff provides much more support. The dual ply was designed to be able to give the sense of compression and the sense of support while keeping the warmth in the joint, which was a really key point for the guys. When they're doing high volume, they, want, you know, they, they don't want to train until they're warmed up or anything like that. Because of its compression characteristics, it really can grip around the joint that it's used on, especially in times when you're, uh, if you're dieting for a show and you've got some really crazy ratios between your bicep and your elbow or between uh, the quad and the knee. Whereas the, the neoprene can sometimes not quite form to the joint, the dual ply, when I just show how stretchy it is, really does grip the joint and the muscle fantastically well and follow the contour of your body. It really is, in, in our minds, a fantastic entry-level sleeve. If you've never used sleeves before, if, if, you know, if you're not really sure which direction your training is going, but you've got a niggle in your knee, or you've got so, you know, a little bit of tendonitis or, or tennis elbow, the compression characteristics really can help towards that. By no means do they fix it, but they really can help. So just to run over it super quick, both sleeves around four to five millimeters thick, you know, before they're, before they're stretched over the joint. The elbow sleeve is nine inches long. The knee sleeve slightly longer, 12 inches long, with a rubber grip band. We really do recommend this for entry-level fitness, first time you're buying sleeves, and bodybuilding, that kind of stuff. For the strongman, probably not supportive enough, but if you're performing moving events, yoke carries, they're fantastic on your knees to be able to keep on and help you warm up and keep you warm in your sessions. I hope that was useful. I hope it helps decide if these sleeves are right for your training. If you've got any questions about the sleeves or about what sleeve you should use for your training, if you'd like some recommendations, drop a comment below or just hit us up on one of the email channels and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. We look forward to speaking to you next time.